You can finally adjust the track height in CapCut and you can also adjust the waveform height within that track. Let's take a look. I'm in CapCut for desktop on PC. I'm on version 5.2.0. Down on the timeline, we've cut a couple of video tracks here. We click these three little dots. I've got two options, track height. I can say short, default, or tall. Short is I can see nothing other than basically that it exists in a title. Default is as it says default. And then if we go to tall, that's quite a bit bigger. Now you're not limited to just those three options. You can hover down at the bottom of the track click and then drag and take it up a bit taller even than the tall setting, but there is a limit. It won't let you just keep going. Now, if you're like me and what you really want to see when you're editing is this waveform be big enough that you can tell where things are stopping and starting or the talk is happening. You want to adjust this waveform height without having to crank your volume all the way up and then remember to go back and change it in every clip, especially after you've trimmed and cut the clips up. So we can click these three dots again, audio waveform size, it's defaulted at 30, you can change that to 60. And that tends to be the much better place that I prefer to edit. Now I can really see where those things are. And when I'm zoomed in, which I would be when I'm doing some serious editing, the waveforms start to make a lot more sense to me. You can also make that waveform 100% if you want. Just click those three little dots. Audio waveform size 100% and this is what you get. Now I might have the volume a bit low in this clip because if we move out a little bit to the end, I think it was taller. Yeah, so that's a bit taller. It's basically leaving room for the title of the track above whatever the waveform is. I'm not a huge fan of this height because even though the video clip that's showing there, the little thumbnail is off, it's never going to be 100% accurate. I haven't found that in any of the video editing platforms, but it does give me some idea of what that clip is that I'm looking at. So for me, when I'm editing, I'll make this pretty tall and I'll change this audio waveform size to the 60%. It just doesn't seem like you gain much going to the 100% other than completely losing any idea of what's actually the video of the clip. And you can make this change on any of the tracks. It doesn't have to be just this main track or whatever cap cut calls it. And if you have something that is just audio only, well, you can adjust that too. You can come over, click, drag, and it'll make it nice and tall. Oh, look, my fat head's over top of it. There we go. Or you can use the little buttons to adjust the track height. Now, when you have an audio only clip, it's not giving you two separate options for waveform and track height. You just get track height because that's all that's there is uh, waveform in the track height. In case I didn't mention it before, I'm Bob. This is Accelerator. I hope this helps you out when you're editing in CapCut. Come back and see me for another video.